Hello and welcome back to Christine. Today we're going to be doing another water related experiment, which I find very fun and it's super simple. All you're gonna need is a glass um, Pyrex or container and then some Expo markers or dry erase markers. I have a bunch of different colors, black works, just fine, whatever you have on hand. And then you'll need water. I have it in my watering can and you might wanna have a towel just in case anything spills. And today, to help me with this experiment, we have a guest star here. Hello, friends. All right, so she's gonna be helping me with this experiment today. So we're each gonna take one of these glass bowls, just like this, and you pick out a color of dry erase, so I'll do blue, and you just wanna draw something on the bottom of your um, glass dish. So stick figures work really well. Would a sun work well? Yeah, sun would work really well. Just make sure it's all connected. And you can even draw a couple different ones. Let's see, I'll draw a heart over here. <laughs> can you draw something inside of it? Sure. I would recommend keeping everything um, connected, but it'll still work. Oh, that's a very inky sun. <laughs> yep. Sorry, my markers are so squeaky. All right. And then once you're done with your drawing, you're going to add the water right into the dish. And be careful not to pour it out. Okay, that didn't work, you guys. We're gonna try again, and I'll get back to you on how it's actually working. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that didn't work very well. Wait, can I try it? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's have our, um, our little helper <laughs> try this out. All right, I'm gonna try pouring it onto the side of the, um, here, we'll pick it up maybe, and just get it right into the side of the dish. Oh no! Okay. This is not what it's supposed to do. Alright, we're gonna do a take two. This is why we love science experiments, because they teach us about the scientific process. And one of those steps is to repeat and repeat and repeat, and to try until you succeed. So we're gonna try again. Okay, so we're back for try two, and we've um, washed out our dishes to stump out all the water, and we've dried them off a bit because you want to make sure that they're nice and dry all around in the corners, that way it doesn't mess up the experiment. So we're gonna give this another try. I'm gonna try doing a slightly smaller object. I'll try the heart again. Um, but yes, make sure it's a little bit smaller. So I guess that's what we've learned in our first experiment. Hmm, I'll do a base sign. And once you have your shape, We've learned to keep them all connected because otherwise, if you have um, spaces in your shape, it might not work all that well. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're pouring in the water right on the edge. That way it doesn't get in there and mess it up. And, oh, it worked! Oh my gosh, look oh at that! Oh my gosh, it works! So you can see that it's that actually <laughs> separated from the bottom of the dish and is now right in the water. That's so cool. Let's see if mine worked. All right, so you hold up the dish and you pour it in so where it's not near them and you don't need that much water. Oh, there they go. Uh-oh, the person didn't work all that well. Maybe, um, my idea is maybe if it has like two like, sticking out like things, yeah. maybe it won't work. All right, well the heart worked pretty well. So if you have a straw with you as well, you can use those to kind of blow it around. And you can actually see if you um, move it around. You can even move around with the bottom of the straw. Okay, we're back for take number three. And we've learned a few things. Third time is One, a charm. Yeah, third time's a charm. So we've learned a few things while we're doing this. One, 
is that you want to keep your shapes small and all nice and together and if you have too many different moving parts then it will probably fall apart. And the second thing we've learned is that you can use a straw to kind of blow it around and kind of make your shape dance. I'm just gonna see what happens if I just do a normal circle. Yeah, I'll try that too. Alright, and I'm gonna add the water. And we've learned that you have to add the water over to the side. And then just let it lift up your shape. Okay, so it looks like these markers, the um, quartet markers, don't work that well. It actually completely dissolved in there but the expo markers like these ones work really really well for this so the expo dry erase um yeah, chisel tip to be markers they can also be small. yes we also have the small expo markers and those work as well yep so you want to pour it off to the side and let it lift up your shape mine around and one thing that we learned that was pretty cool from our last experiment is that um, if I pick it up and you see it's kind of just a little mess right like that then I put it right back in it'll actually form right back into the heart that's so cool look at that oh my goodness science is so amazing. <laughs> yeah science is pretty amazing so you may be wondering what's going on and how is this cool experiment working well, when you draw with a dry erase marker, two things are left behind. One is the pigment, or the color of the marker. In this case, it's green, and then the purple one behind it. You're also leaving behind some alcohol. So when you add the water, the alcohol dissolves, leaving the pigment as a solid on the bottom of the glass. And since glass is such a smooth surface, the pigment, which is a solid, slides right off leaving you with this kind of a really thin, solid film that floats around on top. All right, thank you everyone for doing this science experiment with me. If you like thank this you. video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. The feedback really helps me create content that you'll like. Bye!